Good evening. It's Friday, March 13, 2020 here in Cebu City. I'm Cherry Ann Lim and here's all you need to know in Newsbits tonight. Classes in public and private schools in Cebu province, including the cities of Cebu, Mandawi, and Lapu-Lapu, have been suspended as a precautionary measure against the spread of the coronavirus disease. Here's Kenneth Torres for the details. Following the declaration of state of public health emergency in the entire country due to the continuous threat of the coronavirus disease, classes in public and private schools in Cebu are suspended. Governor Gwendolyn Garcia has ordered the suspension of classes in elementary and high school of all public and private schools in the province starting March 16. Cebu City Mayor Edgardo Labella has also suspended classes in all levels, both public and private schools in the city, starting March 16 to March 28 due to the continuous threat of COVID-19. Labella mandated all schools to implement distance learning, which means schools must provide homework and online classes to students. He added that the extension of the suspension will be continually assessed as the necessity arises. La Bellia also clarified that there is no lockdown in Cebu City yet, but he strongly discouraged residents to travel outside Cebu. The mayor also asked those who are planning to travel to Cebu City to postpone their visit until the state of public health emergency declared by President Rodrigo Duterte is lifted. The council placed the city under the state of calamity Friday afternoon. Meanwhile, Mandawi City Mayor Jonas Cortez has declared suspension of classes and all school activities in all levels of public and private schools in the entire city starting March 13 until further notice. Lapu-Lapu City Mayor Junard Ahong Chan has mandated suspension of classes in all levels of public and private schools in the city from March 14 to 28. Kenneth Torres, Newsbits Tonight. The province of Bohol will be placed under community quarantine for five days, starting March 16, amid the threat of the coronavirus disease. Here's Chari Coronel for the details. The provincial government of Bohol will place the entire province on a community quarantine and will not be accepting visitors from outside Bohol starting midnight of March 16 until March 20. Bohol Governor Arthur Yap says even if the entire province is under community quarantine, day-to-day -day operations will still continue. Yap added delivery of food and medicine is still allowed to come in. The governor, however, says those students who are studying outside Bohol cannot come home during the implementation of community quarantine. The move came after President Rodrigo Duterte placed Metro Manila under community quarantine for 30 days due to the threat of coronavirus disease. Chari Coronel, News Beats Tonight. More stories in News Beats Tonight after this short break. Residents of nearby provinces who work or have official business in Metro Manila may still enter the region, provided that they show proof at government checkpoints. However, police have yet to finalize the entry and exit points where the checkpoints will be established. Here's 3rd Ann Parata Malonzo of Sunstar Manila for the details. As the clock ticks closer to the implementation of the community quarantine in Metro Manila, police officials have yet to finalize the sites of checkpoints. 
National Capital Region Police Office, Director Major General De Bolsina said they have already identified the entry and exit points in Metro Manila where checkpoints will be established for the, the implementation of the lockdown. However, he said it is still for the approval of the Interagency Task Force for the Management of Emerging Infectious Disease headed by the Department of Health. On Thursday, President Rodrigo Duterte said he will issue an executive order placing the entire Metro Manila in community quarantine, banning land, domestic air, and domestic sea travel to and from Metro Manila from March 15 to April 14. Interior and Local Government Secretary Eduardo Año clarified that it will not be a total lockdown but a form of restricting movements in the Metro to stop the spread of the virus. He clarified that residents near in the nearby provinces who work and have official businesses in Metro Manila would be exempted from the travel restrictions, provided that they will present identification documents showing that they work in the National Capital Region. Sinas warned about the heavy traffic at the checkpoints as everyone will have to undergo inspection and thermal scanning. There will be no special treatment to anyone either for the medical practitioners or even politicians. At present, the IATF is still in a meeting at the Malacanang to formalize the guidelines for the community quarantine. Third and Peralta Malonzo, Sunstar Philippines. For the latest in sports, here's Kenneth Torres. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver announced Friday morning that the league's hiatus due to the coronavirus disease pandemic will likely last at least 30 days. Yesterday, the league suspended its games after Utah Jazz Center Woody Goober tested positive for coronavirus disease 2019. A second jazz player, Donovan Mitchell, has also tested positive. In an open letter to NBA fans, Silver says they intend to resume the season if and when it becomes safe for all concerned. The 30-day minimum hiatus would mean no games until at least April 10. Silver says the league and the Players Association will have to continue determining what makes sense without compromising anyone's safety. The regular season was scheduled to go until April 15, with the playoffs expected to start on April 18 and the NBA Finals on June 14. Kenneth Torres, Newsbits Tonight. Get the latest, visit www.sunstar.com.ph. Follow us on our YouTube channel and official social media accounts on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Cherry Ann Lim. Good evening.